hello in this video we are going to see how to restore back our drupal for some reason say if something goes wrong uh, after the update or some something or the other happens and you want to switch back to your backup whichever is available so how we are going to do so right now you can see this is 10.0.4 which we had updated in the last video we had demonstrated this update let us say there are some issues right now with this and we want to roll back to our previous update so first of all you should be ready with your backup whatever backup is available and if you know uh, the database name password etc good enough otherwise if you have forgotten that there is another way to find that out so let's get started let's assume that this is a bad uh, update this did not work so what we are going to do okay so here this is where our drupal installation is on the server or local machine this we yeah, have still not deleted these files just for understanding purpose so what we are going to do is first of all we will delete all the files that were associated with drupal in a actual web server you might have some other directories and other things which are required for the working of the server for your virtual hosting or whatever it is don't delete those files until unless you're sure so here there is nothing associated with the server all these files are actually the drupal files so we are simply going to delete these files over here right so the drupal part is completely gone or it says skip retry so some files did not get deleted that is because of certain permissions to files and directories so what we are going to do is some files are not getting deleted so i will just change the permission and delete these files completely so after changing the permissions i have deleted all the files so my where www.html is empty now the next thing is we are going to empty our database also so let's have a look how we can empty the database so over here we will now need to log in as that particular user in as i had demonstrated in the previous one from cpanel and all you will get access to php my admin or you have a option to back up the database so if you remember the username and password you can log in directly from here otherwise suppose you have forgotten the username and password then what we are going to do is we are just going to get our backup okay this is the backup of that drupal thing open it or you could actually extract it in that location itself because this has to be simply copied back into that location go to sites and in defaults you have this settings.php this has our uh, details of the database username password and other things so we'll just open this and here you can see this is the settings.php file and somewhere there is a, a php array which has the details of all these things so let's have a look at it and that information we will use to log in into our database so here you can see this is the settings over here fine so suppose uh, you are creating a new database and all and you copy everything into a new database then you will use that particular information and copy paste it here if it is not working so here the username is drupal db user and password is this so we will copy this and we'll try to log in into our database okay so we'll paste this drupal db user and let's say we'll try to log in so here we are logged in and our database is here now what we will do is we'll delete everything from this database so what we will do is we will select all these files right so check all 
okay so we have selected all the files and with selected we will just drop these tables okay so here it says yes so here we have deleted all the files now what we are going to do is with this database selected we will import our database into this fine so with the database selected go to import and from here you can browse and select your database wherever you have stored it it's in dbsql.gz format and i'm going to say okay so this gets uploaded over here fine and now simply say go so this can take a bit of time uh, dependent upon what is the total number of rows columns and how much data you have stored so this can take a bit of time so be patient about that okay so here it says import has been successful or import has been successfully finished so many queries executed and you can see all the tables are now back so our database is copied and the next thing that we need to do is we need to simply extract all these files since my uh, this thing is already open what we are going to do is we will say extract and it will ask me where to extract we will simply go to other locations computers basically our document root here i want it to be extracted so let's extract it here okay so this is getting extracted now dependent upon what interface you have just get them extracted fine this is done let's go to the here so you can see everything is extracted now okay so you can see our files are extracted all the files are here and now you can simply go back to your browser and see if you have restored your configuration back okay so now we will go back and check if our website is restored so let's go to this localhost and here we can see that our site is now restored so that is the simplest way let's just check so here this confirms that we are back into our previous one you could simply go back to your site and check whether the required pages and other things have been restored or not and so on so here i can see most of the pages are here